Welcome back to my channel, guys. So today is March 11th, 2022, and it is 6.44 p.m. So this is going to be a quick video because I got two videos that I'm putting out today. Look at how the father's moving when he do it. Hallelujah. So um, this word that I'm bringing forth today, listen. So I was just spending some time in prayer, right? Like, you know how I love to do. And so I'm just in like the midst of prayer and I got the Bible. So I'm reading the word and it was like, you know, like every scripture I was picking up on was about like, you know, like how the father was punishing the wicked. And so I was just like, oh my gosh, like, what am I wicked? <laughs> what are you trying to tell me, father? What is going on? Like, did I miss something here? And so I was just like, you know, so I put the word down because I was like, listen, this is too distracting and I need to clearly hear what it is that the father is saying to these ears, okay, when he's speaking into the soul. So I just really got in prayer and then I went into silence so that I could really download, you know, into my spirit what it, what it was that he was trying to say and the message that he wanted to get across. And he just kept speaking to me about how he's bringing the reward to the wicked okay because for so long like this the wicked been running this earth from you know the music to you know just daily life um society social media like it's just been you know it's been like the moment of the wicked and the father is saying no more he said that he is bringing vengeance okay to all of those wicked people in high places and so this particular word is um, in relation to the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Okay. And I've been hearing this scripture over and over and over and over again. Like it's actually something I've been standing on because I truly believe that the father has the wealth from the wicked stored up. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah. Cause I'm recording, but I got two children over here that want to act like they ain't got no sense in the middle of my recording. So please pardon me. So, um, so I can, you know, the scripture has been just like something I've been standing on myself. And, um, and so the father spoke it again to me today, just a few minutes ago, while I was in prayer. He said the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. If y'all didn't watch my previous video, go watch it, um, about how the father is going to be releasing that financial blessing into your life. And I believe, you know, that the father is saying that he is releasing this blessed, this blessing, these financial blessings from he's, he's taking it. So it's, it's like a, a transference of wealth that's happening. It's a transference of money that's happening. And he's literally stripping it from the wicked people and putting it into the hands of his righteous people, into the hands of believers that he knows is going to do the right thing by it. That is going to lead this world in a way that he sees fit and that they're not going to take, you know, these finances and continue to do wicked things with it and promote wickedness. Like them days is over. Okay. It is over. And so the father has a select a select amount of people that he has chosen to deliver. Okay. This, this wealth from the wicked into the, into the hands of these people. He has already pre-selected these people. He knows who it is that he wants to deliver these finances into and if you wanted these people, it's going to resonate with your spirit. It's going to resonate with your soul. It's something that the father's already been speaking to you about. You've been feeling like, my gosh, something's going to happen. It's going to be big. It's going to be a change in my finances. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know where it's going to come from, but I know that it's going to come. I know that it's going to happen. And it's because the father's doing this supernatural thing, y'all. And like I said, I don't, I don't know the details. He only allows me to see in part. So I only know in part. So I don't know the full details of, you know, exactly what it is that he's doing and exactly how and what hour. And I don't got all of the, the answers. Okay. He just said, listen, this is the word. And so I'm giving the word and listen, he is bringing about these finances. Okay. And to your life and to my life and to the lives of all of his chosen people. And so if you are in line for this financial blessing, that this outpour that the father is going to be doing in this hour, then congratulations, okay? Because the father has pre-selected you, predestined you, handpicked you, and set you on his, on his place to, to reign with him and to do right by the finances that he's going to be bringing into your life. And test one starts now because he wants to know that 
he has instructed you already of what to do with the finances he's going to start bringing through the door, right? So as he's bringing these finances through the door, this is just a small task, but be obedient to exactly what it is that he's telling you to do with this, with these finances, okay? With these this, this particular amount of money that he is sending your way. And this first little batch that's being dispersed to you is just a test to see, are you going to do the right thing, okay? Or are you going to get this money and get big-headed? Okay, because it ain't going to be a whole, whole lot, but it's going to be enough so that you're going to be comfortable and no longer struggling, no more in lack, no more worrying, no more trying to figure out where your next meal is coming from, no, no longer trying to figure out how you're going to pay your bills, how you're going to make your car know, how you're going to take care of your kids, how, how this, how that, them days is going to be over with this first batch of finances that he is going to be releasing. And so it is going to be a major test of, are you going to do the right thing by these finances? So do not fail this test, Okay. Do not fail this test, okay? When you receive these finances and the Father blesses you the way that he is going to bless you, don't fail this test, y'all. Don't do it. Don't do it, all right? Make sure that you're doing right by these finances. Make sure that you're keeping him in a loop. Make sure that you're thanking him and you're praising him for what it is that he is doing and you're keeping him included in this whole situation that's going on, okay? Because he got to stay, he got to stay the head of everything, okay? He has to be your primary focus. So don't get off track because you get a little money and you want to go, you know, to the Louis store and whatever else. Go spurge at the mall or whatever else that your heart fleshly desires want to do. Don't do it, okay? Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan and stay focused on what it is that the Father is telling you to do with these finances. And so that's that word. I got another word coming right on up shortly after this video. So to all my new subscribers, welcome, 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 Aquaba, to this channel, Life with Purpose. I'm Melody. Okay, I don't say my name that often because that often because it ain't about me, but I am Melody. And um, I just welcome all of y'all and the subscribers that been here. Y'all already know. Okay, it's nothing but love here at the tribe. So. Thank you for um, tuning in. Thank you for joining if you're a new subscriber. And until the next video, I will see y'all soon.